glow punk team risks life and limb looking for the ultimate jumping spot here at Hoat Head Dublin. This is Frank, our glow punk, because he's also cold. Very little interest in what's happening today. <laughs> Apart from the tripod, so, man loves the tripod. Are you, are you? As we near our objective, it becomes clear that no one is really that motivated. Daniel just highlighted the fact that his <laughs> motivation lies in the fact that he's not motivated. I feel so thirsty. I'm going to look at the map, because that's what real men do. Drama here on Hope Head. I'm going to be staying in the car while they do the jumping. Now look, some hot blondes. Irish version of hot. Imagine we just started using all these people as our little, uh, <laughs> as our extras. Right. <laughs> right, you people, what are you doing there? Danny, a good friend of mine, he's a pretty accomplished cameraman. And as you can see, he's been focused on the job for quite some time. One lens, that's the trick. One lens. <laughs> John's funny, see, look at this bow down here. Look. Oh, look, we're achieving, we're achieving. No, you're not. The world is circular, you're going around in circles. End of story. The first jump of the day was a really small one. <laughs> <laughs> it's not as cold actually. It's just freezing. <laughs> the Irish waters were reasonably cold, 11 degrees Celsius or 53 degrees Fahrenheit. Hey guys, Clopunk here and we're out at Hoth Head and I'm with Anne-Marie. Amrita. Anne-Marita from India and Beth from Colorado. Right, and my brother Alex. Hi, from Turnier. So this is the first glow punk event and it's a raging success. We have four people. Brilliant. <laughs> and the water is very cold. Now, we're going to do some jumps and it's going to be great fun. Girls, will you lead by example? We needed to check the depth. So I used the two girls to check the depth and make sure there was no rocks underneath. Brilliant. Wow. The only thing we don't want to happen is that he dies. But we're willing to take a concussion or a broken nose. Not happy with risking a concussion or a broken nose, Alex went on to risk more. He was willing to risk a broken spine for you guys. Alex is my older brother and he's got some serious diving skills. <laughs> you did it boy! I think in all honesty though he may have some serious brain damage as well. Oh nice! Risking one life wasn't enough, we risked three lives. Graceful and in unison we jumped from the cliff. Like Michael Flatley's Riverdance crew. If only Michael Flatley would jump from a bloody cliff. One of the simple pleasures about wearing a wetsuit is taking a pee. And also knowing when somebody is taking a pee to adopt the high position on the rock. So we thought we were pretty tough here jumping in in the cold weather and then Matthew arrives basically naked, ready to go. This this is what all this glow punking is all about. The real, the real boys. Oh, you f nearly fell over. My brother's level of brain damage had some competition. Raw cliff diving, unplugged with the locals. What's the sign? You're not cold anyway, no? Easy. Good stuff. Give me about an hour and it'll be cold. Yeah, yeah. Do you get in every day? Matthew and Alex's rumbunctious, risky antics attracted a crowd up on the cliff top. That was a good one. Do you do any fancy stuff or are you a, a pure plummeter? Uh, I like plummeting most of I do a lot of tricks but nothing off, no tricks off a of height. Yeah, yeah. I've got some terrible rashers. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, I've seen people get blood, burst blood vessels. They do a run. <laughs> Since I got home from Mexico, I'd had about 100,000 million lovely Irish rashers. Mmm, bacon. My brother, on the other hand, wasn't sufficiently happy with getting rashers. He wanted to die. <laughs> My brother Alex is a keen gardener, and in this instance you can see how much he likes to plant things. Watch as he plants his face. <sighs> don't know, really don't want to do this, but... <sighs> yeah, we'll just do it and stop talking about it. Bitter crack, huh? Bitter crack. Not 
to be outdone by local legend Matthew, I have to strip down and go in in my boxers. After living in Mexico for the last three years and only being in Ireland three days, I was really feeling the cold, so that was my last jump of the day. But the lads continued on, mental as they are, and made some incredible jumps. Yes, Matthew, my good man, that was an amazing gainer. Now, this looks a little... So that's basically it guys, now just go to Facebook and check out where our next event is and we'll see you there. You can join me on Facebook at Glowpunk, Twitter at Glowpunk, Google Plus at Glowpunk and please drop by YouTube to comment, thumbs up, react, favourite, share and goodbye. You'll never take me alive pigs. Excellent shoes. Excellent hat. Excellent band. Join us. We'll make you famous.